Why are you here? Why are you on this earth and what's your purpose? A very, very important question that philosophers have pondered for years, thousands of years, is to know thyself, right? And I'm a victim of this too. I've lived a lot of my life being a zombie chasing mirage, not knowing what I'm going after. And that's a very dangerous way to live your life. You want to live on purpose, on point. So when you walk, you walk with a purpose of what you're going after in your life. So it's really important that you spend, invest the time to discover inside your soul and your spirit that you're fulfilled to live your purpose and that you're not just chasing money or chasing someone else's goals or their dreams. You have to see why you're here on this earth. Can you just sometimes wake up in the morning and, and instead of rushing into your to-do list, and rushing into what you have to get done and rushing into how you're gonna handle this and handle that, just stop and embrace that you are a sacred being. Showing up and rolling the dice and whatever happens, happens, or taking a couple hours in the morning and designing how you want your life to be in relationship to your one month, one year, five year, 10 year goals. I think what Life School and Ticket ultimately is, is our gift and ability to choose every single day and moment who are we? Who are we going to be? How will we show up? How will we interact with the world? What will we chase? What will we go for? How will we serve? We get to choose that. Choice is life's golden ticket. This is very, very powerful and important that you don't live your whole life and go through your whole life and then you die in regret when you leave this earth. When you're 85, 90 years old sitting on that rocking chair and you're looking back, you don't want to live a life with regrets. You want to make sure that when you leave this earth, you leave on empty and that you went all in. It's very, very important because I think that one of the saddest things in life is getting good at the wrong thing, right? You see, I'll, I'll give you a good, a good example about my mother. I loved her dearly. She passed away from breast cancer in 2012 and she died um, you know, in misery and in, in poverty. And she had huge dreams to travel the world and you know, be financially free. Um, and I was able to help her uh, with that to some extent before she passed away. But um, she was always very timid and very scared. And, and for, because of that, she didn't get to realize everything that she wanted to. And then when she left this earth, uh, she was very sad. When you wake up on a regular basis with your spiritual practice and say in substance, this is a new day, this is a new moment. Everything that is within me is bigger than anything that's ever been created thus far. Let it rise up and with a great tsunami of excellence and joy take over my existence and my entire life. I feel like every day is a second chance. There's not two as in second. There's perennial, there's infinity of second chances. This is a new morning. This is a new day. This is a new beginning. This moment is a fresh starting point, a new beginning for the unfoldment of your life. You have to discover what your purpose is, why are you here, and invest the time you know, in that heavily, whatever your vision is, I talk about vision all the time because it's so powerful, because I believe that we're connected to a higher power through the subconscious mind in our vision. And we can get to that point by asking questions. Questions are the answer, like Socrates says, to get to the truth of why you're here. And you have to do this on your own time, by yourself. You don't need to go talk to other people about it. You have to find inside your spirit, why are you here on this earth? So when you wake up and you say, this is a fresh starting point, it's a new day, it's a new moment, new instant. Everything that has gone on previously has nothing on me. I'm free in this moment. You begin to create a frequency. More than what can be seen becomes a signal. Trust that you are capable. Trust that things will get better. Trust that this too shall pass. Trust that whatever is here, not only has been put here, but is, it is something that you can deal with. If you survive it, then there was a reason. You learn something, you develop something. You will get better over time, even if right now it sucks, even if it's been painful, even if you're sad about it.